How's it going everyone? Bass here. I'm finally back from vacation. So in today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about Robert Tunyon and what to expect with his ACL injury. So just a couple days ago, David Lombardi put out a video clip, a promising video clip of Robert Tunyon running around on the side at tight end U event, an event he usually would participate in. But obviously, you know, with the recovery of the ACL injury, he couldn't participate, but he still was there and running around on the sideline. So I'll show you that clip now. So here's the clip here. And obviously it's just a straight line. He's not making any cuts. It's just a seven second clip. But nonetheless, it's still very promising that he's putting weight and doesn't seem like any um, restriction there on his injured left knee. He's putting full weight on it and running what seems to be normally. And more importantly, in that same tweet with the video, Michael Lombardi also stated he's expected to be ready for the 2022 season opener. So it's clear Lombardi probably talked with Tunyon or his agent there. And that's what they expect. That's their timeline. So that's very, very good news. Obviously, Tunyon tore his ACL last year, week eight against the Arizona Cardinals, which would put him right at seven months today. So that's why this video clip is very promising. He's already seven months. He's only seven months uh, past injury, and he's already full weight on that left leg running around. But the next big sign and update will be next month when the Packers start training camp on July 27th, and we see what kind of work Tunyon will start to get then. He'll likely have to at least practice the back half of training camp. Uh, to get ready to play on week one against the Vikings. And the Packers could obviously play it safe and keep him out all of training camp. The Packers do uh, tend to keep it safe with, with with bigger injuries, but you would like to see him at least get some work in team drills and whatnot through training camp. But in theory, yeah, he could sit out all of training camp, still remain in the rehab group, and still play week one. Nonetheless, it would be a big boost to this Packers offense and football team in general to get Robert Tunyon back week one. One, the Packers re-signed Tunyon this offseason to a one-year deal worth up to $5.5 million with up to $1.5 million total in per-game roster bonuses and an additional $1.75 million tied to playing time and making the Pro Bowl. So really it's up to Tunyon of how much money he's going to make because if he doesn't play half of the season in the first half, he's not going to make anywhere near $5.5 million. But if he plays all 17 games and you know does well and potentially makes the Pro Bowl, he's going to earn all the way up to that 5 point five million mark. And Tunyon is definitely one of Aaron Rodgers' favorite targets. So in a year without a true wide receiver one, Tunyon could see a much higher target share this year. And he's obviously shown he can produce given those targets with that 600-yard, 11-touchdown season in 2020. The Packers have also shown great promise in tight end Tyler Davis, who would likely be the tight end to take the snaps if Tunyon wasn't ready to go week one. But having two capable move tight ends that can stretch the field, go vertical, certainly is not a bad thing. With Mercedes Lewis being more of that inline blocker type tight end and Josiah DeGuar and Dominique Daphne being more of the H-back type tight ends. Having both Robert Tunyon and Tyler Davis um, and the ability to use them in different packages would be great. But overall, it's looking very good for Robert Tunyon's chances to play week one against the Minnesota Vikings on September 11th, which would be 10.5 months away from when he tore his ACL. And obviously, we'll see what happens with all the other uh, players that have torn ACLs as well, with Elton Jenkins, David Bakhtiari, and Kylan Hill. Obviously, these four guys will just be monitoring all the way through training camp and preseason. But that about does it for this video. If you guys are new here and want more Packers news analysis, and updates almost daily. Consider going down and clicking the subscribe button. It supports my channel a ton. I appreciate everyone taking time out of their day to watch my videos. That about does it for this one. I'll catch you on the next one. As always, go Pack Go.